you may be wondering what exactly is a forest plot? Plot in the forest? No. Well, is it a clandestine meeting in the forest to think up an evil plot? No. A forest plot is a type of graph that shows information from many scientific or clinical studies studying the same thing. We get a new, more reliable result with a combined population known as a meta-analysis. But why were they named forest plots? Well, look at this picture. If you turn it sideways and with a bit of imagination, it looks like the trees in a forest. Not all forest plots look the same, but they all have a vertical line. This is the line of no effect. It is placed at the value where there is no association between an exposure and an outcome, or no difference between the two interventions. For relative risk ratios and odds ratios, as in this one, the line is at one. For absolute statistics, like absolute risk or standard mean difference, the line is at zero. Horizontal lines representing each study. A box in the centre of each horizontal line. An outline of a diamond at the bottom of the graph representing the weighted average for all studies. For example, in this graph, an odds ratio. A table to the left that usually provides information about the study author and date of the study in chronological order. A table or tables to the left and sometimes the right providing more information about the studies. They be slightly different but they can all be interpreted in a similar way. So how do we read a forest plot? The relative risk ratio 95% confidence interval visually displays the study results. This column displays the same results expressed numerically. The horizontal lines through the boxes illustrate the length of the confidence interval. The longer the lines, the wider the confidence interval, and as such, the less reliable the results are. If all of the horizontal lines cross the vertical line, it shows that all the studies were in agreement. If a horizontal line doesn't cross the vertical, it's an indication there were statistically significant differences between studies. The boxes on these intervals represent the effect estimates from the single studies. Usually, the bigger the box, the larger the sample size, as well as a more meaningful story. An outline of a diamond at the base of the forest plot represents a weighted average for all studies, but may also be an odds ratio. The lateral tips of the diamond represent the confidence interval. If the diamond touches the vertical line, then the overall meta-analyzed result is not statistically significant. If the diamond is to the left of the line, there is less episodes of interest in the treatment group. If the diamond is to the right, there are more episodes of outcome in the treatment group. Just to finish and to revise, here's a table for you.